Yo, 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 it's your boy, the snail of the sacred variety here. Listen up. If you feel like it, hear me out. Fantano has dropped a review about the Joker 2. I watched it and I disagree. Okay, this will probably be the last well, this will probably be the last Joker 2 related video I make and before I let it just marinate in the scene of uh, in the in the film scene. But before I let that happen, um you already know that I think in 10 to 15 years this will be a cult classic and people will will be uh, switching their opinions but that hasn't happened yet we still have to wait a decade for that to happen but before I let this marinate let me tell you about some some of this some of this um, these theories that have been overblown that I believe have been overblown for one the incel theory I think has been very overblown um, the Fantano believes, as well as other people, there has been a piece, I read about it, there has been videos made on this, that the filmmakers think that have pretty much decided to stick it to these incels that have enjoyed the first movie. If you remember the first movie came out, 2019, I'm pretty sure, and the incel crowd loved it. They were making quotes about it and all kinds of stuff. Make, or they were putting quotes up on Instagram and Twitter and everyone was uh, commenting about how, yeah, man, all all this edgy stuff, like, kind of what happened with um, Joker and um, uh, Dark Knight or what happened with Fight Club, Tyler Durden quotes. That stuff happened with um, Joker, you know, so, you know. Now there has been a theory that this whole movie, Joker, Joker 2, um, I'm calling Joker 2 because it's easier to say. Look, there's a theory that this whole movie has been pretty much made to deconstruct the character, which um, I think it, that is accurate, but it has been made to do, you know, deconstruct this character in a way to piss off the incels and really stick it to them. I just think, and... I don't think that was in the forefront of these filmmakers' minds, the whole movie. Like, the whole the whole mi process of making the movie. I don't think they were saying, yeah, screw these incels. That's what this whole film is about. It's about sticking it to these incels. Maybe that has been brought up in the discussion when they're in the, you know, the, um, they were writing the script and like, yeah, we should really stick it to these incels. I guess they've been saying once. I don't think that they were, they were, laser focused focused on this the whole time about yeah we're gonna really stick it to these guys because let's be real there is no way that this joker character in this realistic setting um because this is what they're trying to build this um character in kind of a realistic way in the, in the real world even in the 70s um uh this this character that has committed multiple murders isn't going to just be able to um it's, it's not going to be able to it's not going to be able to fly even with this big uh crowd of fans um in my opinion anyways but so this is i feel like it's just more of a realistic take more than a uh, movie that is trying to specifically target themselves um so, I don't know. I just feel like half half of Fantano's review was talking about these incels. I don't think it's that big. I think it's a small fish in a big pond of what this movie really is trying to do. And um, so I think ultimately they're really just trying to make a good film. Um, so, that's just my take. Uh, one more, one other thing. Um, there's been a movie brought to mind... Uh, by uh, a, a commenter uh, once upon a time in America which has been really like I kind of uh, forgot about that movie um, um, it is one of my favorite movies and uh, I, I you know it is just an epic um, you know crime drama great character piece 
um, so many so many themes and there's a lot of themes that you can relate to Joker too um, with the care with the main character of um, once upon a time in America noodles his name is and there's a lot of things that there's a lot of arcs that character has that um, you can relate to Arthur Fleck and you know to be honest that movie does um, flesh out a lot of these ideas and 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 character arcs better than Joker 2 does. That being said, I still believe Joker 2 um, does these uh, these character arcs and these ideas well enough to be in the, like I said, 6, 7, 8 out of 10 ballpark range. Um, yeah, it's... it's uh, and that's pretty much my last couple of opinions before I um, I lay this issue I lay this to rest and we'll call it come back in 10 years and make a video 10 to 15 years when this becomes a cult classic and say what's up snail told you snail said it snail said it anyways um I thank everybody for their opinions, um, and, you know, I hope you have a great day. Peace.